Hello, I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. In the rare case that a user's Google account falls prey to an attacker, the attacker can also gain and maintain access to your app via Google Sign-In. That's where cross-account protection comes in. It's a simple protocol that enables two apps to send and receive security notifications about a common user, such as account hijacked, account disabled, and more. To get started receiving security events, take a look at the post linked in the description below. Fuzzing is an automated method for detecting bugs in software that works by feeding unexpected inputs to a target program. In order for fuzzing to be truly effective, it must be continuous, done at scale, and integrated into the development process of a software project. To provide these features for Chrome, we wrote ClusterFuzz, a fuzzing infrastructure running on over 25,000 cores. Today, we're announcing that ClusterFuzz is now open source and available for anyone to use. Dopamine is our framework for flexible reinforcement learning. Dopamine 2.0 is now available and includes support for discrete domain gym environments. Default configurations are included for two classic control environments that can be used to train a dopamine agent in minutes. A link to the GitHub repo is on the post. The BigQuery Sandbox is now available. It's a credit card free path to enable you to experiment with most BigQuery features at no cost. It provides you with up to one terabyte per month of query capacity and 10 gigabytes of storage. Links to get started are on the post. And if you want a cool BigQuery dataset to play with, check out these six new cryptocurrency datasets in BigQuery public datasets. Stackdriver Profiler lets you understand the performance impact of your code down to each function call and without sacrificing speed. We've added new language and platform support for Profiler, along with weighted filtering and other new filters. All the details are on the post. App Engine Flexible Environment now supports the WebSocket protocol in beta, which is the first time that App Engine supports a streaming protocol. WebSockets are great for use cases such as real-time event updates, notifications, chat applications, feeds, collaborative editing tools, and multiplayer games. Links to the documentation are on the post. Chrome 73 Beta is now available and includes constructible style sheets, a new regular expression function, and passive mounts events. All the details with code are on the post. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs>